why must this bull run go on? Well, there is a BTC wave coming fueled by some of the richest people in the world in some of the most powerful positions. From people managing the most money worldwide, trillions to those making decisions on the delicate global stage. So are you ready to decide if you like my content? I hope so, because it's time for Chico Crypto. Decisions, decisions, feelings? Now I know some of you still huddle onto your old Trumpster feelings from the presidential elections, but if you love crypto, let them the freak go. Why? Well, what has he recently said? I'll ask you one last question. You don't like Bitcoin? You wouldn't invest in Bitcoin? Uh, Bitcoin, it I just seems like a scam. Uh, I was surprised. You know, with us, it was at 6000 and uh, much lower. Uh, I don't like it because it's another currency competing against the dollar. Essentially, it's a currency competing against the dollar. I want the dollar to be the currency of the world. That's what I've always said. He reiterated his point. He hates cryptocurrency and is fond of the old way of doing things, the dollar bill. So as tough as it is to hear for some, Joe Biden is a president. But this is better for crypto and Bitcoin than having the orange clown taking it back down to 6K. I don't like Joe. I don't like Trump. I voted for Joe Jorgensen. So don't you think I'm bootlicking anyone. If you voted red or blue this last election, you are the bootlicker. But I'm a realist, so let's get real with the situation, starting with BlackRock CEO Larry Fink, who in April spoke on his thoughts about where this world is heading. Let's listen in. The Earth's health is deteriorating. So it's not like a new pandemic. And we see it getting sicker. And we have to stop that disease curve for the Earth. And the sooner we start changing the course of that of the of, of carbon in, in our environment, the sooner we can stabilize um, glo our global Earth's health. Larry Fink of BlackRock, the world's largest money manager, understands that Earth is getting sick and it needs to be fixed. And technology is going to help get us there. Chico, okay, how is Larry Fink of BlackRock going to lead us to Joe Biden and if he is good for Bitcoin? Well, BlackRock, for another presidential cycle, is once again getting a top U.S. political seat. And guess who was the one added to the Bidester team, serving as his director of the National Economic Council, BlackRock's head of sustainable investing, Brian Deese. It wasn't just Deese. More BlackRock peeps joined Biden. Senior executive advisor to BlackRock, Wally Damo, was named to the number two spot at the Treasury, serving as the deputy secretary. So BlackRock's in deep again, and everyone knows about the incoming Biden green wave. His $2.5 trillion plus infrastructure plan is highly focused on clean energy and renewable technologies. And BlackRock just gave their big investor update for the year last week. Here's what Mark Weedman, head of corporate strategy, had to say about their new mission. Be the global leader in sustainable investing. Over the course of 2020, we affected the biggest organic pivot in the firm's history, putting sustainable investing at the center of the firm. We've had a great start with our clients with a decade of work ahead of us. He said they want to be the leader in sustainable investing. 2020 was the year it became part of their core. Hmm, I wonder why. They've started out great, but there is a decade of work ahead of them. And that's why you see stocks in this area sustainable, like EV electric vehicles, rumbling, getting big eyes and starting to soar. Those in the know, they know. Money is going to be flooding the sector and positions were taken throughout the year 2020. One of the shining stars of the EV surge is Blink Charging Company. It's up over 1,500% over one year, going from around $2 to nearly 40 as of yesterday. Guess who has been loving them? Some blink stunk. BlackRock. They just reported a big increase in their stock, a nearly 50% increase, which they have been increasing their positions steadily since the middle of last year when blink started surging. 
What else is BlackRock starting to dabble in? Well, earlier this year when BTC was hitting some higher numbers, BlackRock's managing director, Rick Ryder, spoke on CNBC about the asset. Let's listen in. I'm trying to figure out what 1% of 7 trillion would mean uh, for Bitcoin. That would be, would, 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 what are you doing? Are you doing anything? Are you recommending anything? What's BlackRock uh, got in the, in the works for Let's, Bitcoin? Or, or, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I think crypto is uh, generally has gotten the imagination of a lot of people. I mean, having, you know, today the volatility of it is extraordinary. But listen, people are looking for storehouses of value. People are looking for places that could appreciate, you know, under the assumption that inflation moves higher and the debts are building. So, so yeah, so we've started to dabble a bit in uh, into it, and and uh, you know, I I wouldn't put a number on the percentage allocation one should have. It depends on what the rest of your portfolio looks like. But listen, I've been up, you know, I think you talked about one of your shows, you know, it's, my sense is the technology has evolved and the regulations evolved to the point where where uh, a number of people find it, to, it should be part of the portfolio. And so, uh, so, you know, that's what's driving the price up. Well, ain't that convenient. But now let's just pull out Blink's one year price chart. Blink charging right next to another company, Marathon Digital Holdings. Don't those charts look dang similar? Surging at the exact same times, falling near the same times, and very similar percentage increases. Marathon went from around a buck and is nearing $30 as of yesterday. So who in the funk is Marathon Digital Holdings, Chico? Well, they are one of North America's largest Bitcoin mining operations, who is about to go bigger in Texas, deploying 73,000 more machines, adding 10.37 exahashes of hashing power per second when complete. Is that a lot? Well, total global hash rate is about 110 exahashes through the weekend. So yeah, that's really significant. Marathon is a big North American BTC mining player whose stock price chart is spookily similar to the EV charging company Blink, and one of Blink's largest shareholder investors is BlackRock. I wonder if BlackRock dabbles in Marathon too. Well, using Baron, scrolling down to their major institutional holders of the stonk, BlackRock Advisors is in the top, with a 1.58% stake in the company. So with BlackRock, you can see the narrative forming sustainability in one hand and Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in the other. Although their BTC mining play with Marathon shows these two hands are colliding. And this ties into their upcoming hashing power boost with the new mining machines, moving their machines into Texas to be powered by renewable technology, which would put their operations 70% carbon neutral when it goes live, which begins in October. October of this year. Renewable and sustainable Bitcoin operations are flowing through the veins of Marathon as they were also announced as an initial member of the Bitcoin Mining Council, whose goal is to promote energy usage, transparency, and accelerate sustainability initiatives worldwide. But that's not all from BlackRock. They aren't just stopping with Bitcoin, futures trading, markets, and mining. They're going all in with the digital assets. In 2019, BlackRock hired Robbie Michnik for its blockchain lead. Then in December of 2020, they looked to add to that team, expanding the roles, putting out a job posting, looking for a VP of blockchain. Well, if you click on the hyperlink in the article for the job posting from Coindesk, it must have been filled because it's not there anymore. The only blockchain job BlackRock has available is a new one. You gotta search by the keyword blockchain in the job posting and a director and engineering lead for digital assets and DLT was just posted six days ago on the 8th. So why don't we just click right in? As we can see, this engineering director's main responsibilities will be evaluate, develop, and lead execution of the blockchain distributed ledger technology strategy and roadmap for BlackRock's Aladdin platform. They will also evaluate different blockchain protocols and platforms to explore solution alternatives, determine optimal architecture, factoring in feasibility, maturity of solutions, cost, time to market, etc. Yes, their financial tech suite, the Aladdin OS, is going to have a blockchain division here soon. They are looking for a leader to help develop it by examining the different blockchains and solutions out there. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Hyperledger, Corda, and even as I hate to say it, maybe even Ripple. 
these moves, these hires, this planning, it's obvious to me they are moving and moving quickly. I wonder why. Do they know something we don't? Cheers. I'll see you next time.